Hey everybody, I'm back with another video. I'm gonna show you some really confusing clown clutches. Um, I don't know why I do this to myself sometimes by breeding like a multi-gene snake to another multi-gene snake and getting a bunch of stuff that I can't quite identify. So uh, anyway, let's just get down to it. I'm gonna show you these and maybe you guys can post in the comments below and let me know what you think. Uh, first one we're gonna do is a bongo clown clutch. This is from uh, past, I'm only gonna show the clowns in this clutch. Um, the, it's from a pastel bongo het clown bred to an enchi killer clown. So super, pa there's pastel on everything. Could be super pastel, could be also enchi and bongo. So first one, this one's easy. Really cool snake though. This is a pastel bongo clown. Bongo just expands the pattern so much. Uh, it changes the coloration too. It's a, a fairly dark snake for a, for being a pastel clown, but really cool. Nice busy pattern. I think the bongo hat gene has so much potential in clown. I'm really excited about. It. I've got a lot of cool pairings going on this year, which will hopefully prove to produce some really neat stuff. Okay, here is a super pastel bongo clown or a bongo killer clown. Again, real busy pattern compared to a typical killer clown. Uh, also, the heads are just unique. A lot of speckling on there. Pretty, you know, nice bright whites on there. Most pastel clowns you don't get. I mean, there's no way to mistake this or this for a past regular pastel or regular killer. None that I've ever hatched over the years anyway. Okay, so here's where it gets a little hard to figure out. Okay, so keep in mind there's Enchi in this combination as well. That doesn't look like a regular pastel clown to me. It also doesn't look like an Enchi clown to me. Enchi clowns are much more uh, just striped. They don't, you know, sometimes the stripe is broken such as that, but they don't have like all the spotting on the sides. That doesn't look like an Enchi clown to me. Um, unless Bongo is in it as well. But can you go from this to this just by throwing a dose of Enchi into it? The head is kind of similar. You know, this one's obviously a much whiter head. I'm just not sure. It's hard when, you know, I, I don't know if anybody else has produced Enchi Bongo clown clutches, or I know a couple people have, uh, one person that I know anyway, but um, you know, it's just, it's so hard to figure some of this stuff out. Okay, and here's the other one. Again, kind of that bongo clown or pastel bongo clown type of head, but a fairly busy pattern, but it doesn't look like a typical killer clown pattern either. Clowns in general are pretty varied, so it's kind of hard to say for sure, but I'm thinking that there, these may be, this may be a super pastel Enchi Bongo clown, and this may be a pastel Enchi Bongo clown. But I don't know. I, looking, I keep going back and forth. I've been looking at these guys ever since they hatched, and I keep going back and forth. Like, this just seems too different from this to have Bongo in common. But I don't know. I'm just not sure. If any of you have any opinions, I'm happy to, to hear them. Any other breeders out there, anybody who's produced Bongo Wenchy Clown stuff, uh, feel free to comment or message me. I would love to hear your input. I'm always willing to listen to what other people have to say. I'll never claim to know everything about everything with this stuff. Okay, so that was the first clutch. This is the easy clutch too. Wait till you get a load of this one. Like I said, I don't even know why I did this combo because I knew I was going to have tr problems with it, but I don't know. I'll just show you. Okay, so this one is from a Banana Pastel Calico Yellow Belly Clown. So Banana Pastel Calico Yellow Belly. So four genes plus clown bred to a Pastel Bamboo Het Clown. Let's get these two out of the way first. Got a pair of twins. They don't look like twins, but they came out of the same egg. 
So this is a pastel calico, possibly yellow belly, probably yellow belly hat clown. And then this one hasn't shed yet. This is a bamboo combo, and actually, unfortunately, it was hatched with a nub tail. And I don't really know why that is. I, for some reason, I seem to have a little bit more problems with um, infertile eggs, and also eggs that just go bad during incubation or like slightly deformed babies. Not that it happens a lot, but you know, when you produce 2,000 plus snakes a year, you have a few. Um, but it seems to happen more often with the really late season clutches. And these were laid on 11.5 and just hatched a, I don't know, week and a half ago, two weeks ago. So yeah, these are twins and they came out of the same egg, but completely different genetics. So really bizarre. Okay, now on to the clowns. So this is a super pastel yellow belly clown. Nice, fairly busy pattern. That's a nice blushing on the sides. I don't think there's calico in this one. I think it's pretty sure it's just a super pastel yellow belly clown just i mean it's a pretty cool snake but you know not super genetically complex okay now let's start getting into where it's more confusing this is a banana bamboo clown of some type Here's another one. Then I got this one. <clears throat> I'd say this one probably has pastel in it at least. You know, the problem with these is that the pattern is so light, it's just hard to even see what other genes are in there. I mean, this could be a calico, it could be yellow belly, it could be both. And then there's this one. I think there's banana in all these, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's suck these guys and see. Well, this one does, is a female, so I'd say there's probably not banana in that one. It's a male maker, male. This one's a male. Female. Actually, I should check to see if the father's a male maker or female maker. This one's a male. So these two are males, these two are females. Really weird, confusing stuff. And I did it to myself. Now I'll have to put these guys on the shelf for who knows how long and just wait and see what they grow into. Um, so yeah, I wanted to see what what the banana bamboo clown looked like and decided to throw some other genes in there too so it'll be interesting maybe uh i'll just have to breed some of these to some other you know something simpler like a normal clown i st still do have some of those here breeding uh you know breed some of these to a normal clown and see what individual genes come out and that way i'll know what to look for if i ever hatch these out in the future that's kind of a lot of what this is just trial and error and learning as we go along you know five years from now if I hatch a few more clutches of these, I might say, oh, that's that, and that's that, and that's that, you know, be able to figure it out pretty easily. But sometimes when you're first hatching these, it's just really, really hard to tell. All right, well, if any of you have any ideas about any of these, definitely let me know. Also, you can uh, 
leave a comment below and uh, I will try to keep up with reading all of them. Uh, in the meantime, definitely check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. I've got a lot of new snakes up for sale right now and I'm actually adding in a lot more. I've got probably another 300 yet to add over the next few months. It's just whenever I get time to do it, I, that's when I put them up. So um, I'll be adding a lot, new, a lot of new snakes um, over the next couple of months. And we also have a new website in development too, so stay tuned for that. That'll probably be a couple of months yet, maybe a little bit more before that's completely up and running. But it should be exciting to have a new website, new hopefully state-of-the-art website for you guys. And these guys are taking off on me now, so I gotta corral them. So anyway, until next time, uh, enjoy your snakes and stay safe and ha happy and healthy. And I will be back again soon with, with another video.